Hi there YouTube, this is the Magnus bringing you another Total War Warhammer online ladder battle. Uh, today my opponent chose the Warriors of Chaos and I decided to bring our dear old friends the Dwarves. It's been quite some time since I've played them but I felt like hey, with the new stuff and uh, everything going on why not, why not give it a shot. Uh, so let's take a look at my front line here. I've got Dwarf Warriors with great weapons. Uh, across the front line along with long beards with great weapons alternating all the way down the line behind them I have three miners with black or I'm sorry four miners with blasting charges I have a runesmith Thorgrim grudge bearer for his awesome buffs I have one cannon I have one of the gobblobber and in the rear here, I have two Thunderers for adding some additional damage. And so as you can see, I have a very long front line and, uh, and a lot behind it. So I, I like it quite a bit. My opponent, initially, all I can see is that he's brought in a line of Chaos Warriors. Looks like four of them. Uh, two Exalted Heroes supporting them. A Chosen with Great Weapons. And Sarthoriel the Everwatcher. What I don't know, and I know he has more units than this. I, I, I've played the game enough to know that he had not spent all of his money on that. And what he has is two aspiring champions, and he has three of the new, or I'm sorry, three of the Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes with their armor penetration hit on my right. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how this uh, progresses. So he moves his infantry line forward, and I'm going to go ahead and start firing uh, with my artillery. And it's going to be a little while. He's going to kind of do a, a button hook here around the hill and then through the forest so that I don't see him at all. Uh, pretty pretty slick maneuver, maneuver there. Uh, so I open up firing at the uh, Chosen with Great Weapons. They're a very expensive and powerful unit that has a lot of threat to the dwarf lines. Then here comes uh, his, his throwing axes. And shortly I'm going to reposition my artillery to target those cavalry. At first I'm quite, not quite sure how to deal with it. Uh, but I decide that's probably the best thing to do because they're large and the cannon should do well. Uh, I also pull back uh, one unit of longbeards with great weapons to form a line. And behind them I have the miners with blasting charges ready to fire off blasting charges at him. His timing's quite good because as I'm reacting to this it's giving me less time to react to the full body uh, uh, of his infantry and his army here. Uh, so you're going to see the the Thunderers start firing but they're going to have minimal effect on the Chaos Warriors thanks to their shields. However over here blasting charges are blowing up the aspiring champions pretty well and as you can see the artillery is having quite an effect on his health uh, and his morale. Uh, so he stops just short of my lines here. Uh, I continue to fire, focus firing my uh, my guns at his center unit, and they're going to finally start to do some damage and cause some casualties. Uh, over here on the far side, again, he's got all these guys hiding in the woods, chucking axes away and trying to fight, but now the miners that have used their blasting charges are committed. Uh, in, along the middle here, my miners are chucking their blasting charges. That's why I like to keep these guys behind the main body of infantry. That way they can go ahead and chuck in all those charges and then charge in and assist where needed. Uh, since his line wasn't as wide as mine, I bring uh, my people over from the flanks to try to get an advantage there. I still have my artillery focused on his flanking force. And the, the miners, one thing I don't like about the miners with blasting charges, if you tell them to throw their charges, they'll throw them, but then that doesn't make them go into melee. That's something you have to do on your own. So I advance up uh, Thorgrim uh, so he can get in there and help secure my center. I'm going to bring some miners in to support him. Uh, over here, Sarthil's doing good work. Uh, if you haven't seen it before online, he's able to pretty much <clears throat> dance all over the field and do a lot of AOE damage and he's very hard to get a hold of or hit so I have my gunners firing away at him this entire time and he's taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, my artillery is still safe and firing into his flank. 
but my flank defense force is starting to break down, and then he's going to charge in with the Marauder Horseman to put the Gobblobber out of business, at least for the time being. He also pulls through with an Exalted Hero to get into my Thunderers. So, as always, the mass of the Dwarfs is kind of letting me down here. Uh, this Exalted Hero gets away from a giant blob of my infantry. He's into my Thunderers. Uh, so is uh, the Ever Watcher now. So now I'm having quite a bit of trouble in the back. He's cycle charging his cav, uh, the damage having been done for the most part, and not a whole lot I can do. Uh, down on the main line, uh, the great the great weapons are really going to help us uh, as the Chaos Warriors elected to bring shields. It saves them from the missiles, but it hurts them uh, in the whole armor piercing ability. Uh, over here towards the center, you're going to see I'm, I'm pulling lots of units in to try to deal with the invaders into my back line. Sarthiel is going to continue to uh, create all kinds of problems for me. But I do have some Dwarf Warriors with great weapons on him. And uh, they are going to be able to do some damage. As you can see, he's ticking down at a decent rate, but not a ton of power. I have my Runesmith running around, applying his uh, runes where necessary and trying to help out in combat as well. And as you're going to see now, things are starting to focus on the center. He wiped out my line over here, and he's coming in. And I'm doing okay on this line, but you never know with uh, the Ever Watcher jumping around like that. So I've got some people chasing him, some holding down the middle, and some still trying to get rid of these people in the rear. I keep trying to get my thunders clear. Every time I do, they start firing at the Ever Watcher. Uh, he's the one I want off the field the most, especially when I see the balance bar start to go my way. I know spiking the Lord, killing the Lord is going to make all the difference. Uh, here in the middle, my miners are hanging out for a very long time. Uh, thanks to Thorgrim's buffs, they have 88 leadership. It's been as high as 90. They've got 36 to 42 melee attack. Uh, they're, they're really not bad. I mean, they're, they're, they're a decent unit. And they do a pretty good job of pinning things down as far as dwarfs do. Uh, so, again, still trying to get uh, the Everwatcher. He's finally going to start to get cornered here. He's going to have Thorgrim wailing on him. And uh, the transmutation of lead is going to help him quite a bit uh, against all of my dwarfs. But as you can see right now, there's just too many of us and not enough of him. So at this point, I do believe it's a matter of time unless he's able to pull off something amazing. And uh, his aspiring champions are still in here, which are helping keep everybody in line. He still has both of his exalted heroes and he still has his lord. And he's hanging in there. He's got 49 kills. He still has 12, 12, 10, 1240 health there. He's still going to be pretty effective. And he's doing a great job of constantly getting into my thunders and not letting them get distance. So some of my forces here begin to rally. I'm going to try to bring them in. A lot of his are not rallying. That's always a good sign. Things are going your way. Now the Everwatcher is down to 644 health. The rest of his army is completely abandoning him. Uh, the Everwatcher, as you may know, is unbreakable, so we can't win without bringing him to his knees, and the dwarfs will slay him, ending the battle. So let's take uh, a look at the tail of the tape, and as always, I want to say good game to my opponent. Thanks for the matchup, and I appreciate the fact that you did something unusual uh, in attacking the flank. It was in the manner in which you did with those Vanguard units. That was pretty darn cool. Uh, my miners with blasting charges didn't do a whole lot of kills, but they don't seem to get, um, they seem to do a lot more damage health wise than king killing models. So they did quite well. Plus, you saw a lot of them were there till the very end of the battle. That kind of staying power out of a unit this cheap, 425, is pretty darn cool. Uh, the dwarf warriors with great weapons, a bit underwhelming, but dealing with a small army that's not, you know, 23, 20 kills is not bad. Uh, whereas the Longbeard with great weapons were certainly better, at least two of them. The Thunderers didn't kill anything, but that's because the vast majority of the time they were firing at the Everwatcher. So I don't know how good of a value I got out of them. Not real happy. Uh, the Artillery did well. Uh, the Cannons really helped hold off that flanking force. Because if it would have broke through my lines earlier, if, uh, if I wouldn't have been able to hold it off as long as I did, it could have been disastrous. Uh, the Goblobber... Uh, did fantastic 75 kills I was really 
pleased with the results and it has like a blinding effect and some other stuff so it's definitely a cool unit and I, I definitely recommend you give it a go uh, Rune Smith just did his thing and Thorgrim put up 51 kills which against Chaos you know there's there's nothing crappy here Chaos you know a lot of times it's an all quality army and that's what my opponent brought uh, taking a look at his side his exalted heroes were fantastic that's better results than I ever get with them so maybe there's something I can learn from this so I'll probably be re-watching this uh, the ever watcher was definitely a giant nuisance and quite the survivor the chosen with great weapons were devastating the chaos warriors did okay but I think chaos warriors with great weapons would have done better especially since I only had two missile units and his Marauder Horsemen with Throwing Axes got decent kills, but they also created that whole other front that I had to deal with. And like I said, had they been able to break through earlier, if I didn't have enough artillery, or if I didn't have enough infantry to pull over there, it probably would have went the other way. So again, good game to my opponent. This is the Magnus, and until the next time, I'll see you on the ladder.